Hey guys, what's up? It's Lainey and today is the 24 hour smutathon. It started at midnight. It is now 11.30. I love sleep, so I knew I wasn't going to be staying up the full 24 hours. I started two books before I went to sleep. I'm currently listening to this one on script. It's uh, Queen Takes Nights, their Vampire Queen, book one. Basically, it's just this super smutty, um, polyamorous relationship between a vampire queen and her two protectors who are also vampires. So lots of three sons, lots of blood at the same time. I'm really liking it. I'm over halfway through. My plan right now is to just hang out, lay in bed, play my favorite game while I listen to this. Um, if anybody plays Tomb Blast, I am obsessed with that game. And then once I run out of lives, I'm going to switch to my Kindle book, which I also started. And I'm four chapters in. It is Only for a Night by Nima Simone. This is our optional group read for Smithathon. It's a really short, steamy, 120 page novella about this um, girl who has history with this guy and he now owns a sex club so she goes to him for one night because she wants to have sex basically. So that's what that is and I got to the part where they've kind of like made their their arrangement. I forget who mentioned this but I saw it on Twitter about how they don't like um, shorter romances because there tends to be a lot of insta-love attached to it and I that's the reason why I never really read a lot of short romances either. However, I decided that I like shorter romances where they have history. I think that's why I'm enjoying Only For A Night because they have history so there's no like needing to build a lot of the relationship but also this vampire one they <laughs> they basically met and then went back to the hotel room to fuck so strangely I feel really bad that I'm not doing anything today besides just reading. <laughs> I'm not used to that but thankfully it's like a three-day weekend so I still have Sunday and Monday. I'm just gonna try to enjoy this reading break. I haven't read at all since I've been revising my book so um, this has been a nice little break to finally read. I haven't read any books in like over a month. Yeah I'm, I'm just enjoying this now so I'm gonna go lay back down, relax, get some water and keep listening to this vampire smut book. So it is mid-afternoon and I have completed one book. I am almost done with another one and I just picked up a new audiobook to read. It's only about two hours. It's a serialized romance series so I thought hey you know I'll give this one a try. I don't know if I'll like it. So the one that I'm um, gonna be listening to next while I continue playing my game <laughs> is uh, Dark Domination um, by Lily Valen Valente. It's about this billionaire marine turned arms dealer who wants to get revenge on the girl that ruined his life he doesn't realize that he gets the twin instead so i don't know if i'm gonna like that or not i don't usually like twin switcheroos we'll give it a try because it's only two hours long. i wanted to quickly um unbox something in this video so i got this really exciting package and you guys know that i don't usually accept review products for things that i don't think i'm going to enjoy or like but Shelfify, which is a book sleeve company, reached out to me and wanted to send me one of their um, book sleeves. And it's funny because they emailed me like a couple weeks when I was getting really frustrated with the fact that I kept putting my books in my purse and then they'd be all dented when I pulled them out and I'd get mad about it. I've tried book sleeves in the past, but the one that I have came from like a book box and I thought it was really, really ugly. And I'm like, I'm not going to put this in my purse. I'm not pulling this out and people have seen this ugly ass book sleeve. What I really liked about Sheltify was that they have really awesome different designs. There's animal ones, there's flower ones, floral, there's different um, food and just a lot of fun different designs and I was really excited to be sent one of their designs. Is that they come in different sizes so they sent me their grande um, one so let's open it up. It is family run which I wanted to mention because you know supporting small businesses and everything it's run by this like mother-son duo and I think what they're doing is really great so this design that I got is like low-key my favorite on their website so I'm so glad they were able to give me this one um, so it comes in a really nice looking package this is the design it is like neon bamboo or I'm gonna call it neon bamboo because I think it looks really cool but it totally fits my aesthetic and when I saw it I'm like that's the one that I have to have what I really like about these book sleeves is that there's a zipper up at the top as well as this little pouch where you can put like pens or no little like notepads or if you like put sticky notes and annotate your books you can put them all in here uh, we're gonna test it out here with a book that was sent to me but I thought I'd mention because this is the smutathon vlog and I have an adult fantasy romance that I want 
to mention to you guys. St. Martin's Press sent me this about a month ago. Right now it's on pause while I'm revising, but like the moment I finish revisions, this is the first book that I'm gonna re-pick up to finish because it comes out in September, September 24th. So it doesn't seem like I have good enough time <laughs> to finish reading this because I got 100 pages in. It's The Orchid Throne by Jeffy Kennedy. It is a female because I was like, is it Jeff? Is it Jeffy? But I was on her Instagram and it is definitely a woman. St. Martin's reached out to me because I did a review on A Promise of Fire by Amanda Boucher, which is one of the only fan adult fantasy romance that I have fell in love with. Amanda Boucher actually blurbed this book. Well, she liked this book, so maybe she'll like this book too. Basically, this book's about a realm that's pretty much all fighting with each other and there is an exiled prince who decides that he needs to get the help of one of the last remaining monarchs in the realm that's not under complete control of this tyrannical king. And the queen of this island kingdom kind of has a little bit of magic of her own. So they ended up getting together and realizing that they need to be allies to defeat the antagonist of the story. So I'm about 100 pages in. I was really enjoying it while I was reading it. I was reading it on a vacation. It was like the perfect vacation read for me. Moment of truth. Let's see if this book they, they match will fit into this book sleeve. I'm so excited to have this book sleeve in my purse because it just looks aesthetically pleasing. So yep, the book fits perfectly into this and it's still really sleek will fit right into my purse perfectly. That is Sheltify's book sleeve. I'm gonna link their information down below as well as a coupon code that you guys can use if you guys see a book sleeve that you would like. If you use the code GINGER15, you will get 15% off your purchase. I am going to get back to reading. It is currently 6.30 and I have finished that domination book. Is that what it was called? I already forget. Downloaded the next one in, in the series because I decided that I'm kind of curious to see because it ended on a cliffhanger and now I'm just like, well, the next audiobook in this in the series is three hours. I think I can do that. Almost done with the group book only for a night. I just have like three more chapters left. I'm reading on my new Kindle. I got a new Kindle, the plum version, because I liked the color. I used to have a bigger one and I kind of wanted to downgrade a little bit and get something a little bit more easier to carry. I've been enjoying reading from this today. One thing that I've been digging in Only for a Night is that I like the gradual escalation of their relationship in, in this book. It does take place in a sex club and things go on in a sex club and there's different things you can do there. They seem to be like upping the stakes every chapter with what they're like doing and how far the um, female main character is being pushed. So I'm really liking the whole progression of it. I will be continuing on with the series because I think I'm pretty sure that they're all companion series. It kind of all surrounds these guys that have all left the mob. So I think the next one is going to be in one of the other guys' perspective, which I'm so down for. I'm really excited to continue on with the series. I'm excited to read some more of her backlist. All around, good choices for the group book. And the whole twin thing in the in the domination book, I should really know what it was called. You guys know. It's not as weird as I thought it was gonna be. Well, the twin died, I think. Wink, wink, I think she's gonna make a comeback. The two actual main characters, he mistook her as the twin when they first met. They ended up having sex. He still thinks that she's the twin. She's not. He is trying to enact his revenge on her because the twin sister screwed him over but the female main character is like i'm not my twin i'm gonna get something to eat and let me tell you guys i don't think you can tell but it has been raining for the past like few hours it's not raining right now but it's like cozy fall weather and i'm so pumped but it's been really nice just kind of like chilling opening the windows having the rain come down and reading like that is peak reading mood for me and I was able to have that today. You have enough things to worry about. Yeah, but I'm always going to worry about you because I love you. So it is almost midnight. It's what time is it? 11:57. I just finished my fourth book, Forest Metathon. So I've completed four books for this 24-hour readathon. 
I was getting really tired in this last hour. Like I kept kind of dozing off and keep waking up and jerking myself awake. So I'm like, <laughs> finish this. I've come to a better appreciation for shorter romances because I don't read too many of them. Um, I think I talked about that in the first clip. When I'm looking for like those like really quick, super smutty books, I need to start looking at the shorter romances for sure. Novellas, I'm all for them now. Four books that I read, I thought I'd break them down and talk about what I rated them. First book that I completed was Queen Takes Nights which is a vampire erotica. <laughs> I rated this a four stars. Like everything that I kind of wanted was in it. I'm curious to read the rest of the books in the series. I'm kind of excited to kind of get into this paranormal erotica romance. Success on that end. The next two books that I read were part of a series and these were on a whim. These were not on my TBR at all. Dark Domination and Deep Domination. I rated both of these a three star. They're interesting. There's still two more books in this like serialization um, of novellas. I think I'm gonna still re keep reading them because I'm kind of interested because each the first two books ended on a cliffhanger and now I'm just like well I'm kind of interested to see what is happening next but it's not one of my favorite romances I've ever read. But I'm really liking the, the sex scenes are pretty smutty so that was really good. And then the last book that I just completed was the group book, which was Only for a Night by Nema Simone. And I rated this one a four star. I'm like, I'm big in Nema Simone now. So I will be continuing on with her books. I really liked, again, I talked about this in the last clip, I'm pretty sure about how I liked how each chapter kind of progressed. And the sex scenes were really good. And I really like this one because like in the beginning, they didn't kiss. So like that was like the intimacy that was kind of like the hard limits, so to speak. And I kind of like, like when like the kisses are a point of tension so they don't do it. Yeah, those are the four books that I read for Spinathon. Successful Spinathon. Yeah, I, I realize you can see my shirt most of the day. It's just a t-shirt of um, Andrew Yang. He is a Democratic candidate. Um, he's my favorite right now in the running and I just wanted to support uh, his campaign. So I got a t-shirt and I am in the Yang Gang for sure. So that's just why I'm wearing, you know, an Asian man on my t-shirt uh, all day. <laughs> That's it for me. If you are new here, my name is Lainey and I make videos about books and writing. And if you guys participated in Spinathon, I would really love to know. Let me know down below what your favorite book you read for this round was. And I'll see you guys all very soon. Bye!